Finding a great place to grab a crab cake in Maryland seems like an easy task, right? Well, let me tell you this, it's not the same. I've lived in Maryland for pretty much all of my life and I can tell you not all crab cakes are made the same. In this video today, here's what I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you five of my favorite places to grab a crab cake in and around the city of Baltimore. So stay tuned. We're gonna give these five places to you right now. What's going on everyone? It's Adam Taylor back again with another video all about living here in Maryland. Today, I've got a great one for you here. And quite honestly, I'm super excited to put this one out because I've been working on it for a while. I'm gonna give you my five favorite places to grab a crab cake in and around the Baltimore metro area. So we're ditching the mallet, we're ditching the knife today because all the picking has been done for us here. And these five places, I'm telling you, in my opinion, arguably the best places to grab a crab cake here in Maryland. So let's jump in right now to number one. Now I need to let you know before we start the video here, I wanna talk about standards because that is really what this video is about, standards for crab cakes. And not all crab cakes are created the same. So when you go out, you're gonna to wanna to make sure in every place that I'm listing here meets these standards. So rest assured, I got you taken care of. You're gonna want a crab cake that is anywhere from six to eight ounces. That's the typical size of a crab cake. You wanna get that crab cake broiled. There's people that make fried crab cakes and they're absolute garbage. Don't waste your time with that. You want a broiled crab cake. Second thing, you want to make sure Sure that that crab cake is filled with jumbo lump crab meat. If you're seeing back fin or anything to that nature in the description there, don't even order it. It's gonna be a waste of money for you. You want jumbo lump crab meat. These are big chunks of crab meat that you're gonna see in the crab cake. You don't want a lot of filler in there. And then the last thing, and this is the thing that comes as most shocking to people that aren't from Maryland when they order crab cake for the first time, is a crab cake is essentially an a la carte item, meaning when you order a crab cake, you're just getting a crab cake. Sometimes they may throw crackers in there, some saltines for you to eat it with, but that's really it. So I would recommend ordering like a crab cake platter where you get a side or two. That way you're not left feeling hungry after you finish your lunch or dinner. So let's jump into number one right now for you here. All right, first up on the list. And again, remember, I'm giving you five of my favorite spots here. Not one of them is singled out to be the best. These are all great spots. I just wanted to grab different places to grab a crab cake in and around the Baltimore metro area for you. So first up is GM Restaurant located in Linthicum Heights in Anne Arundel County. Now, GM is located very close, right off of West Nursery Road near BWI Airport. And if you do some proper planning, you can either get a crab cake before hopping on your flight or after you get off a long flight. It is a wonderful lunch or dinner. I'm telling you guys, you will be impressed. Now they've got over 12,000 Google reviews and you can read the comments on there. People say crab cakes look like baseballs and softballs. Yes, my friends, I can attest to this. I've had a GNM crab cake. They are phenomenal. Now, when getting to GNM, parking is a little bit tight, so you may have to jockey for a parking spot in some capacity because lots of people are flocking into GNM. Great place to get yourself not only a crab cake, but a great bite for dinner. Now pricing, you're looking at $28 for a single crab cake and $55 for a double. Next up on the list is Fadley Seafood, located in Lexington Market in downtown Baltimore. Now Fadley's is great and they have won best crab cake in Baltimore for many, many years. They even have it right on their wall when you go in to order a crab cake. Now a little bit about Fadley's. It's a little bit different than some of the spots that I'm gonna give you here today in the sense that it's more of a carry out destination. So Lexington Market is filled with vendors that that are selling not only crab cakes, but you can get cheesesteak sub, pizza, sushi, all of the sort, all in Lexington Market, and different vendors everywhere. So it's quite busy, it's pretty loud in there, but you're gonna be able to get a phenomenal crab cake. And if you have somebody that doesn't like seafood, good news, they can grab something in Lexington Market as well. But I'm telling you, give Fadley's a shot, even if you are apprehensive about eating crab cakes. Now you're looking at about $24.95 for a crab cake, and the best thing about Fadley's is the family tradition. They've been around for many, many years and owners Nancy Devine and her husband have just done such a phenomenal job. I mean, Nancy's recipe for the crab cake that Fadley's puts out has tried to be replicated so many times throughout the years and she has essentially set the standard that everyone else tries to copy here in Baltimore for making an incredible crab cake. So. I urge you, if you're dining in downtown Baltimore or going to a baseball game or concert in the city, you gotta check out Fadley Seafood. All right, real quick, if this is your first time to our channel, number one, I want to welcome you. My name is Adam Taylor. I'm a local real estate agent here 
in Maryland. And on this channel, we talk about all things Maryland. We talk about living here, working here, chilling here, and most importantly, getting out and having some fun in the great state of Maryland and doing cool videos, like talking about the best places to grab crab cakes in Maryland. So if you're interested in learning more about life in Maryland, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It's the one that looks like the one right over my shoulder here. Don't forget to give that little bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we drop a new video just like this one. Now, as I say all the time, my team and I, we are fielding phone calls, text messages, and emails from folks all over the world looking to make a move right here to Maryland, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, we'd love to help you out and connect with you, but we just need one thing from you, and that's for you to reach out to us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or better yet, schedule your one-on-one -on -one Zoom appointment with us using the link down in the description below. That way we can hop on face-to-face, -face, meet each other, get to know your needs, and see what we could do to help you out in your transition here. So with that said, let's get back in and give you these amazing other places to grab a crab cake in and around the ball more metro area. All right, the third spot you gotta check out for crab cakes is Jimmy's Famous Seafood, located on Hollibird Avenue in Baltimore. Now, Jimmy's is a great spot, and they've done a good job in self-promotion and getting some names in there. You see a lot of TV shows have stopped in and come to check out Jimmy's, and it's for good reason. The food is phenomenal. Folks like The Rock, Michael Phelps, local celebrities that play for the Baltimore Ravens and Baltimore Orioles and numerous other stars have all gone to Jimmy's and rave about the seafood. The crab cake, it's a little bit on the smaller side here, but it is packed full of jumbo lump crab meat. As a matter of fact, you can actually check out this video right here. They actually show you exactly what they do to make the crab cakes at Jimmy's Famous Seafood. So that six ounce crab cake that you can order is gonna cost you about $25. So my friends, head on over to Jimmy's. You're in for a treat if you do. Now, before we jump into number four and five, again, are in for a treat. These are great places that I highly recommend that you go grab crab cakes at. If you could do me one quick and small favor and just hit the like button down below, it's right down there and it looks like a thumbs up just like this. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well. Again, it looks like that one right over there. And don't forget to give that little bell a click. Now, here's the other thing. I want you to chime in here because guess what? I'm only covering five restaurants in the entire state of Maryland. And I know I am leaving some great places to grab a crab cake off. Please don't be upset. I can only include five. I just wanna make this video concise. But guess what? You can chime in and put your favorite restaurant down below. So drop the link or the restaurant name down below because I want all Marylanders and all visitors of Maryland to be able to try the best crab cakes our state has to offer. So with that said, let's get back into the video and give you these last two spots you must check out. All right, we're here at number four and it's a good one. If you wanna eat like one of the biggest stars in the entire world, this is the place you gotta get your crab cakes. It's Pappas Restaurant located on Cranbrook Road in Cockeysville. Now they've done a good job with expanding and there's a few satellite locations where you can get the crab cakes. But my friends, these are great. You can get an eight ounce crab cake for $27.99. Now who's eating these crab cakes? Well, you may ask, it's one of the most famous people in the world and none other than herself, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, again, if you all don't know, she got her start here in Baltimore as a news anchor and then went on to the fame that she's experienced here, but she gets her crab cakes delivered directly to her from Pappas. Now, what I'm waiting for is for Pappas to reciprocate the favor and have Oprah Crab Cake Day where you get a crab cake, you get a crab cake, and you get a crab cake. Wouldn't that be some fun? But my friends, you are in for a treat. Oprah verifies that, can attest to the quality of crab cakes, and so can I. So go check out Pappas Restaurant in Cockeysville, Maryland for a great crab cake. All right, the fifth and final spot you've gotta have a crab cake at is at Box Hill Pizzeria and Crab Cakes, located in Abingdon, Maryland. I'm telling you guys, I was there just last week and had, a, had their crab cake platter, sat outside on a beautiful fall day and loved every second of it. Now, that doesn't take away. Crab cakes are the mainstay there, but they've got pizza, subs, and oh my God, the dessert's incredible. Uh, it is a little bit of a trip outside of Baltimore. You're probably looking at about a 30 minute drive right off of Interstate 95, but it is well worth the drive. If you can't make it out there, guess what? Box Hill ships crab cakes right to you. And you can use the link that I have down in the description below to order your own crab cakes. You're looking at for an eight ounce crab cake, you're looking at $29.99. If you want to get two of them, $53.99. Great deal. And I'm telling you, it is worth 
every penny. So my friends, I've given you five of the best spots in the state of Maryland to grab a crab cake. I know there are a few that I left off the list, but again, comment down below, those of you locally that are watching and saying, hey, why don't you mention this place? I want you to mention it. That's why I'm, I'm asking for community participation here. So drop those other places down in the description below. But again, five great spots that you can grab a crab cake in and around the Baltimore metro area. Now, if a move to Maryland or Baltimore in particular is in your future, as I always say, my team and I, we are ready to help and we'd love to help you out in your transition, but we just need one thing from you. That's for you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email or schedule your Zoom appointment. Again, using the link down in the description below because we have your back when moving to Maryland from Baltimore, down the bay, all the way to the beaches in Ocean City. My team and I have you covered. Now, before you go, I want you to go and check out this next video right here. I think this is gonna be your next step in learning more about the great state of Maryland. Until the next video, my friends, take care. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.